how to make your British flowers last longer. Step one, choose the right vase. I love these jugs, they're British and they make the flowers look wonderful. I also like the fact that they're opaque so that you can't see the stems, but that's up to you. Half fill your jug with lukewarm water. It's really important that it's lukewarm because there's less oxygen in the water then and it means your flower stems can take up the water easier. Step two, add the flower food. Um, you can use all sorts of things like sugar, lemonade, soda, but the best thing to do, use is flower food because it helps stop the bacteria as well as feeding the flowers. So you just mix it in. And it dissolves. Step three, unpacking your flowers. This is our harvest bunch at the moment. Some people keep some of the packing on. It's just personal taste. I like it all. Our flowers come in water and they've already been conditioned. So just carefully take them out of the, the nappy. Step four, trim the ends off your flowers. It's, it means that they'll fit in the vase better, but also if you trim them at an angle, then it means there's more surface area for the water to be taken up through the stem and because it's at an angle on the bottom of the vase it's easier for the, it to have access to the water. So just trim them all off. The Secateurs is probably better, especially with our flowers because there's lots of green foliage in them. The great thing about having a hand tied bouquet is that you don't have to do any of the artistic work to arrange the flowers, as long as you're just a little bit careful as you pop them in the flowers. So I'm just cutting a couple of centimetres off the ends, making a mess. Fine. All done. So I can tell it's about the right height. Then I'm going to just make sure that there's no foliage in the water if I possibly can. Just means that there'll be less bacteria to make the flowers, which will shorten the flowers' lifespan. With our flowers, most of the foliage has already been taken off, so it's just the odd bit to encourage them to last longer. Step five is to cut the string. Make sure you've got the whole bunch in your hand. Cut the string. And then pop the whole lot carefully. whole lot carefully in the jug. Make sure they're all equal. Step six, top your flowers up with cold water. They drink an awful lot of water so it's worth doing this daily. Step seven, Pop your flowers where you want to enjoy them, but just bear in mind they don't like direct heat, so not too near a radiator, and also they're not keen on draft, so 
the centre of the room is probably best where you can enjoy them for longer. Hope your British flowers last for a